I'm Jamie Ruby from Sci-Fi Vision. Hi, guys. Hello. Thanks for talking with me today. Um, so earlier you talked about the concept and des the design and kind of how it came to be, but how much did it change from like what your original vision was or did it to either or both of you? <laughs> right. I don't, you know, I don't think it changed much. I mean, you know, we set out to do a peg person adventure show and um, it, it kind of is exactly what we were hoping for in the design and, and the execution. Like it's, uh, it's kind of what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. <laughs> I would say that the pilot episode changed quite a bit. Um, the first episode we wrote, um, uh, the Blarney character uh, was doing a Mrs. Doubtfire routine where he had two kids that he wasn't allowed to visit. <laughs> and so he dressed up like a housekeeper, but he was still in the clown makeup. And uh, that's why I didn't make it <laughs> funny, though. <laughs> so um, did you guys know right away that like you plan to be on a streaming network? Cause obviously a lot of this would not go on network television. Okay. Well, I know that um, when, uh, like we partnered with Sony um, to produce the show and then we were looking for an outlet um, to distribute the show. And you can't, I mean, I guess if you had enough, uh, enough juice, you could, you could sort of dictate your terms, but we certainly didn't. And so we, you know, we, we wanted to find a home for it. That was the best home. But um, if uh, uh, you know, I, I think if the, that home was only going to be a broadcast network, we would have had to adjust the show and turn it into something else. Yeah. I think, <laughs> and, I th and it would have been a far different uh, program. Uh, and so we really lucked out that uh, Hulu wanted to do the show um, because uh, they wanted to do the show the way we wanted to do the show. Because it was always intended to be this show. Right. Um, uh, and uh, with this tone and with this perspective and with the juxtaposition of very cute characters doing very adult things. Um, and so any other version of the show wouldn't be our original vision. Right. Um, so did you, like, how did the casting process go? I mean, did you know who you wanted to voice it from the very beginning or did it kind of happen organically? Uh, well, we, um, coming off of Robot Chicken, we've worked with an awful lot of really funny actors and we knew, like, we wanted uh, Brecken Meyer on the show. Uh, Seth Green is an executive producer on uh, the show. So we, we wanted to find a place for Seth. Um, uh, and beyond those couple of voices, it's like, um, we, were, we left ourselves open because we didn't want to like uh, paint ourselves into any corners. And uh, I think because we did that, we ended up with this really great cast of made of choices that we wouldn't ordinarily have like never really thought of. Um, Luke Evans is the one guy who we worked with on Robot Chicken a lot uh, with. And he, like we knew he could sort of do anything uh, we like that King voice, like his take on the King is so hilarious. We knew <laughs> thing. he's given us like multi-part harmonies over the phone <laughs> at times. Like he can, he's our, uh, like we, he was like a sure pick for us, but everyone else is like, uh, we're just sort of open to the world of possibilities. Um, did the actors like ad lib anything? I mean, was there collaboration or did they just go by the script? I was just kind of curious. Uh, we always start by the script and then uh, we let them play around a little bit. So a lot of the, a lot of the actors uh, would definitely add things to it, um, which is really fun. Yeah. Um, so do you, I mean, I know you don't know yet if there's going to be a season two, but where do you kind of see it heading if, if you do go and have another one? Well, I think, um, you know, Patrick started from the very bottom and he's got a dream. And I think the dream that he's got, that he is clinging to, is a dream that could either destroy him 
uh, or he could rise above, uh, you know, all of the, the uh, struggles, the corruption, the, uh, you know, the, all the reasons that his dream is a bad dream. <laughs> um, and, and so the, I mean, that's where the, sh the show is going. It's like, how do you follow this um, dream of making the kingdom a better place and working from within the system when the system <laughs> itself is making you a worse person yeah, uh, because it's so corrupt. And uh, so the story is always going to be about Patrick's journey and, and how he comes out at the end and how it changes him. Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.